Today I'll show you two methods to identify bacteria you have on your agar plate, like this one. So when I don't know what bacteria are there, there are two tests to find out uh, what kind of bacteria you have got here. The first one is a catalyzed test. For that you need a 3% solution of hydrogen peroxide and the other one is the potassium hydroxide preparation um, for which we use a 3% solution of potassium hydroxide 2. Furthermore you need a glass light like for microscopes then a pipette to drop the potassium hydroxide later and a nucleation loop and to sterilize it a little Bunsen burner like this one. Yeah. We will start with the catalase test. First I'll show you the theory behind it before we try it. So catalase is an enzyme produced by bacteria to split the toxic hydrogen peroxide which is produced in their metabolism. So um, we got hydrogen peroxide and uh, catalase splits it in oxygen and water. And this oxygen um, is uh, gas, it's a gas of course. And when we now drop our hydrogen peroxide on a bacteria colony and it's catalase positive, you will see bubbles get out of this colony because the catalase, if the bacteria produces it, splits the hydrogen peroxide. So now I'll drop a few a bit of this um, hydrogen peroxide on a colony to see whether it's catalyzed positive or negative. For this I'll zoom in a bit. Okay. I hope you can see that there are now bubbles performing And now we know that this kind of bacteria, which we have here, is catalase positive. So the second method is the potassium hydroxide preparation. This is equal to the um, gram stain, because you can find out whether um, the bacteria, the colony, is gram positive or gram negative. The theory is that um, gram-positive bacteria have a thick cell wall and um, the gram-negative bacteria have got a thin one. So if you put a drop of the potassium hydroxide solution on your bacteria and you stir it very well and then you take your inoculation loop and um, take a piece of the drop up, there will be thin lines of um, DNA between the loop and the drop of bacteria and potassium hydroxide. This is because the potassium hydroxide can destroy this um, thin cell wall but not this thick cell wall. So um, on gram positive bacteria there won't be there will be no um, thin lines of DNA between the loop and the drop. For this test, you have to take, you have, first you have to sterilize your inoculation loop and then take a little amount of the bacteria colony on your inoculation loop. I'll take this one. Yeah, so now I've got bacteria on my loop and then put it on this glass slide and mix this with a drop of potassium hydroxide solution. That's enough. And make sure to mix it very very well. And now, if there are 
thin lines. Yeah, so they are they really are thin lines of DNA. I think you won't see it. I'll zoom in a bit and show you this again. Okay, I hope you can see it now. Yeah, this really seems to be gram negative bacteria because I can clearly see these lines of DNA. I prefer this test to the um, classical gram stain because it's um, pretty reliable and it's more and more easy than the gram stain. It's faster and more practical I think. Now thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want comment and subscribe. You would help me a lot.